Hello folks, today we're playing a new indie game called Maze. It was a posh indie game and all. Look, it's got graphics and everything. Uh, this, is, this is me, Jamie, from randomizeduser.com, and we're going to have a bit of a quick look the first 15, 30 minutes, depending on how things go. I'm currently running around in... Oh, hello. This way. This way to water, presumably. Well, we don't go that way, do we? We want to go to the giant bloody grenade pin. Ah. Oh, look. It is a... S oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Almost missed that. What is it? When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Yes, we're still in tutorial territory. Put my hand there. I don't have a hand, apparently. Circular slot. I don't have anything. A slot for a key. Maybe we'll come back here. Let's go home. Possibly to the safe house. Very left for dead. Um, press escape or P to enter the pause menu. Right. Good. I'm glad you saw that. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, it's starting to get a bit... Hmm. Starting to get a bit more maze-like. Let's just run into... Oh, you can't! It's solid maze. Nice poppies. Actually, they're not poppies. Oh! Oh, look! That was a sneaky little path. Actually, fuck it. it is, it's, it's a bloody maze, lads. It's a maze. Oh... Okay, let's make like a firefly and only follow the right-hand walls. Then we'll easily get out. Oh, what? It's right, you know. <laughs> really does bugger all. Okay, let's stick to the right-hand side and we'll eventually be out of this maze in no time. Unless there are loops in the maze, in which case we're fucked. Now, carefully does it. Into the sunshine. Ooh. There's a desk. Wait, what? And now for something completely different indeed. What's this? We'll be back in something minutes. Seem to have left your bloody muffin behind. Gonna grab that. And it, oh, it actually is a mu Oh, lads! The wall just fucked off. Cheeky wall. Uh, let's, let's investigate further. What's in the drawer? Now! It's a crap drawer. Hang on, what's the, there's a note. Items you can use will be added to your inventory. Folio! I believe I have to press space. There we go. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. The muffin. Note to the reader to mind the boxes and also says open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Probably. Yeah. I told him to take out the probably. Come on. Hard as granite, this muffin is definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Oh, I want to eat it. Okay, so this is less mazy and more clearingy. Very pretty flowers. What's that on the tree? Looks like an etching. This way to a windmill. Ooh. Anything else around here? Not that I can see. Oh, it's boxes again. Presumably these aren't going to let me through. Are these bloody oranges? And office supplies. Office supplies and oranges. Together at last. Right, so we don't want to go that way. The windmill is currently out of bounds. Let's go where the walls are no longer... Yeah, 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 mate. Oh, a car! Good. Oh, statue. Statue, it's Turniphead himself! Actually, no, it's not. It's just some bloke. God, look at that. Look how dramatic it is. It's kind of Fat Morrissey. Oh, hang on. What's this? Broken shovel handle. Equip inventory items. Alright. So I can either muffin up or shovel handle up. Yes. Still that way to the windmill. Still can't get... Oh, we can actually see the windmill. Oh, hello. Music quite creepy, but nothing intimidating just yet. Can I get anywhere around here? We've got a broken shovel handle. Eh, <laughs> bum. Um, that means... That, I said... Mm, I can suggest that might be a an actual spadey bit, the metal bit at the bottom. So if we can reattach that, then we'll have solved the most important puzzle of all. Right, we're still... Okay, that's presumably the barn. Once again, we cannot proceed. So I guess, let's go into the house. You can use an item. Left mouse button to use your equipped item. Well, I can either try the muffin... Or I can try the broken shovel handle. Funnily enough, neither of those unlock doors. Just check around the place. See if the keys are in the Ferrari. Completely useless. 
Incidentally. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse. Because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you. And would like to ruin its day. Ah. Oh, there's a back door. Ooh, a, ooh, a pot. And an owl. And a lot of more pots. Alright. Oh, no. Control system peculiar. Right, I can't get in there, but there appears to be uh, a thing. One of those thingamabobs. That a vice. That's the fucker. <laughs> Still can't get in, though. No. Let's explore down here. And it's a half a hubcap. Funny enough, it's not letting me pick that up. Oh! Shall there be chickens? Oh, lads. I think I've solved a puzzle. Yeah, just, <laughs> just grab it. Oh, it's the farmhouse. Oh, maybe that is actually the farmhouse, then. All right. Thought these puzzles were going to be way beyond me. Key and a lock? Hmm, the pump not working. Right, let's see what's inside. Oh, let's just check if we can go down here. Look, there's a, there's a hatch. Can't really do much with it. M maybe. If I tonk it with something. No, I can't. Sure, you must be able to do something there. But for now... Oh, God damn it! I was trying to jump. <laughs> trying to jump and see the, the grenade pin in the distance. But no, space brings that up. All right, let's equip the key, open the door, read the... N that's not a note. Ooh, spooky. Spooky farmhouse, and there's an, an invoice for a carved wooden statue. It's a bit of a shitty invoice. Lots of cash, though. Two million. Two and a half million. Uh, cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Oh, apparently I was right. Hooray! Hooray for me. And carved statue. Hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down. <laughs> I can skip the joke there, but... Um, never mind. Just trying to get out of this dark room. Feeling kind of clammy and claustrophobic in here. Okay, let's check out the ground floor first before we go upstairs to possibly the death camp or whatever's upstairs. Who's winning? The viewer. Oh god, the music's getting a bit more sinister. And what's this? A really boring mystery novel. Apparently, what the hell is that on the cover? Item added to folio. Oh, is it, is it like a moose? Having no talent in the genre, the, the author mistakenly revealed the most of his identity on the first page. Just like Columbo. Alright. Anything else? I, I'm guessing they're just kind of like more collectible things rather than actual puzzle pieces. I'm surprised that the first folio I was given wasn't Shakespeare. Ha ha, Shakespeare joke. And okay, let's um, go through here... Look at the box. Oh, I <laughs> toss me up in the air. And hang on a second, I've dropped something. Oh no, because I, I got rid of the key, didn't I? Oh, there's a vice! Hello! Hello past me! And that's uh, some rancid corn oil. Let's put the rancid corn oil in the vice. <laughs> oh, it's a sausage grinder. Not a vice. All right. Something is jammed inside. Possibly jam. Can I do anything here? I'm from the school of just press everything, try everything, <laughs> when it comes to adventure games. Sugar and flour. And lots more f Oh, food for days. Um, right, okay, let's crouch. Oh, that's some... That's peculiar. All right. Don't bother yourself too much with animation. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being salty. I'm sorry. So that's definitely something here. Again... Trying everything. No. Well, obviously that must be something. Well, why? Is it, why would it be white lit up? Huh. Never mind. And uh, no. Just going to double check all this stuff. Okay. No. A fruit crate. Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. All right. Anything? Around? I, 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 toilet cleaner. Toilet cleaner. And possibly some spam. No, I can't find anything around here. I'm not very good with puzzles, by the way. <laughs> In case you were thinking of this this being a, a walkthrough or anything. Oh, is that wardrobe? Oh, hey, let's shovel it. A wobbly wardrobe. 
Hang on, that looks like it's... Um, box, 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 box. Yes! And now what? Now it's just beeping at me again. Well, that was fine. Oh, hello, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, don't, there's no jump in the game. Tipped wardrobe over with the... Ah! That's dangerous. Thank God he gave me that clue earlier about that, otherwise I would not have... Oh! Secret attic. Let's see if Anne Frank's up there. Oh, God. <laughs> Tasteful jokes of the 21st century. Oh, I've done... Try to jump over it again. I'm going to do that every few minutes. Possibly every... sooner than that. Um, nope. Nothing there. Oh, hello. What's this? It's a very flat, burnt lab report. Abject failure. So does hurt feelings, sentient cornstalks, and why did we do this? Well, apparently, yeah, there are supposed to be... Um, I mean, when I, woke, when I first woke up, I think before I actually started the video, there was a certain amount of um, glimpses of sentient corn. Uh, <laughs> so there. Anything else around here? So, oh yeah, th there they are. There's the, um, there's the grenade pin. There's another grenade pin. There's some horrible boxes. There's another house over there. Yeah. Also some kind of fogginess. Someone's let out a really big trump. A uh, globe? Uh, uh, gnome and a laughing man. It's very David Bowie around here. And there's something over here as well. Mallet! Good comedy mallet. An item can be placed here. Well, I don't apparently have anything that's that shape. It looks a bit like an ice cream or possibly a clip-on tie. The mystery deepens. Some booze. Alright. What's down here? Oh, I've just pressed space again. <laughs> Spooky. Okay, so I can't really do anything here, though, I guess. Because um, I don't have anything to put there. But I've got a mallet. What would a mallet do? Anyone want a malleting? That is actually a word. Nothing around here? That's a toaster again. Nothing. I'm possibly exhausted up here for now until I can find something to put in that slot. What's behind the magic curtain? Possibly a wizard? Probably a mirror of some kind. Or something like that. Smash! No. Oh. Obviously you can't smash. Something... Okay, remember you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. So I can... Ma okay, some, smash something perfectly flat. What needs flattening? Anyone? Anyone need flattening? Does that box need flattening? No. It's a cup? Oh, there's something over there. A bobby pin. That looks like a bit of what could go upstairs, but not quite the same thing. Maybe if I somehow flatten the pin with the mallet and then flatten into the shape of the thing that's upstairs. That's probably not how you do it. Can't do anything there. I heard... Is that... That's a parrot. <laughs> I'm getting good at identifying things now. Alright. I can't find anything else going on around here. Let's make sure that I've investigated everything. Oh, hello, what's that? It's a thing that doesn't get picked up. Right, so quick... Oh, we can run. Oh, that'll speed things up. Okay, quick, quick. Let's go back around here. See if I can put that thing down. Um, what is it? The, the bobby pin. Nope, definitely not. Alright. Hey, look, I can use the scroll wheel. Oh, well, that's a bit more like it. Don't have to use the keys. Alright. Right, let's go back down. See what's afresh and anew. All the way... That's enough. I need to go... Where's the... Where's the there it is. Right, I've completed the house. No, I haven't. <laughs> See what else is around. What's that? Dunno. Maybe that's where we started. Let's have a quick poke around. Oh, we've been here. S presumably I still can't get to the windmill. Unless I... F I don't suppose I can tonk it with a mallet. I mean, bobby pin... Let's, let's have a read of what the um, bobby pin actually does. Extremely useful for picking a lock. But you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. So there's only one other lock. Um, and that was back 
where we well halfway from where we started so let's go and investigate there's the desk again apparently they're not back yet they lied to me uh god damn it maze 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 i know i'm looking like i know where i'm going but i don't <laughs> as we've just found out oh no i can't even remember which way i oh 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 uh this way oh what what happened to my oh there it is right a slot for a key well that doesn't really hmm the no it's a, it's a slot for a key not a um oh no oh. <laughs> now what Okay, so a bit of time later, I'm back in the house, I've just been fiddling around with things, and I found this bathroom, and I've been just, like, fiddling around with things. I've filled the sink with some- with the corn oil that I had, for- for whatever reason. A willow. And I found a... some nail clippers? Alright. So I'm not quite sure why I've got corn oil in there. However, the corn oil did say... Oh, I've forgotten what it said now, and I don't know how to- Oh! Well, what could I do with that? There's not really much I can- Nah. Well, at least I've got some nail clippers. Let's investigate what the nail clippers actually do. The only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall <laughs> and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. So there's always, like, a joke and an actual useful thing in those things. So something that's lodged in a wall. What's lodged in a wall? Haven't found anything. Maybe I'll have to find something later. Maybe there's something... No, I still can't do anything there. Never ever bash it with a mallet. No. Bloody house. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I forgot about you. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I could have done this ages ago. Oh. I don't think I actually did that with a mallet. So what have I done? Oh. 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 Oh, oh lads. What's that? A fuse box missing a fuse! Well, <laughs> I wonder what will happen if I find a fuse then. Anything around here? Doesn't seem to be much. Oh, hang on, what's this? No, oh, no, nothing. I thought it was lit up. No. Another curtain. More mysteries. Oh, there's two staircases. Oh, I know what that'll be. That'll be. There we go. Ah, look, I've opened a way through for fairly no reason. <laughs> I could have come out here anyway, couldn't I? Okay, so I've found another path that I haven't actually taken before. Appears to be a privy. A bog. What's this? A mediocre rock? Oh, apparently that's just a... Um, that's a book, apparently. Now, this is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. Hello, Chauncey. Never look at you again. Anything else? No. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. A rusty nail jammed in a wall. Oh, 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 oh. Nail clippers. And I've got myself a nail. Why have I got myself a nail? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Well, I've got a mallet and a nail now. Which means I can put up a picture. Whoop de shit. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Just on the off chance, I, I put the nail in the, in the fuse thing. And it worked. For some reason. Power to the farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. I can hear some scratching noises. Uh-oh. Somebody might be upstairs, lads. It's coming from over here. It's coming from over... There's a noise coming from over here. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's, I think it's some um, power not working very well. Right, I don't think there's anything else there. Let's go upstairs. I think it's t leading me up there, isn't it? Ooh, oh, he's a bit more lit up now. That's rather, it's all rather jolly. Jolly ugly. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha, what a great joke that was, lads. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
I feel intimidated. Oh, what's this? A CD player! Yes! You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path is open to you to the barn in the silo. Ah, okay. So the CD, for some reason, has opened up the barn and the silo. Where's the barn and the silo? That looks like a barn. Right, onwards, lads. Let's just have a look at this and then we'll finish. Hold the shift key. I, I'm doing it right now, mate. Mate. I mean, you're not even looking at my keyboard, are you? Disembodied text, voice man. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Remember to press E to examine. An old CD, it's labelled faded. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. What's in the barn? Maybe it's people fucking. <laughs> Maybe that's just um, the film that's on this DVD. Let's have a look up here. Good, bad, good, question mark. Ah, one half of a diagram. A broom. And a filthy picture. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a get pumped picture, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a sp Spooky barn. Thankfully not... F oh, I see. It's all... Yeah, gym equipment, isn't it? Also, lots of gloves and things. What went down here? A hat. A hat went down here. Right, I did say also we could get to the silo, I believe. So let's have a look. There's a sign post to the silo. There's a sign post to um, lightning. All right. Let's just have a look at this. Can I even get in there? Can I, balls? Oh, game, you taught me so. Stop pressing Q. God damn it. Oh. This is something. Oh. Ah. What the fuck? He's pegged down. Mate. Time to go back to the future, I think. A severed hand. Oh, God. God, things are getting slightly creepier now. Oh, fucking fedoras. And... What's that? What's that? What's that? And it's a... It's a... Oh. It's a name tag. Fernando! Okay, with the plot getting, um, well, marginally thicker, I guess, I will stop here. Um, it's nice. Oh my god, that's blinding. <laughs> it's a nice, pretty ending, I think. Yep, so this has been Maze, uh, the first first about 30 minutes of it. So if you like what you see, go and check it out. It's a good little sort of indie puzzle adventure type thing. Not quite sure how spooky it gets, if at all, but I have got I have picked up a bloody severed hand, so that must be um, some indication of where the game is going. But yeah, I think the um, the serious stuff comes later. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been JB from RandomizedUser.com. Subscribe for more about the latest indie games, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.